I have to take the ASIC out of this board, which is the big 84 pin PLCC here. And what you need to do that is one of these things. It's called a PLCC puller. And when I first got this thing, I thought, well, you just hook it on the corner of the ASIC and you just squeeze this thing and you see how these pins pull in. That'll just pull the ASIC out. Yeah, that didn't work. So here's the way you do it. You do hook the ASIC on opposite corners and then you get a good grip on both the board and the ASIC and you kind of pull and you'll hear it creaking a little bit. You pull on both sides and it'll pop on out. And then what you want to do is examine to see if any of the pins on the ASIC were bent when you pulled it out. And like this one here was bent a little bit. So you can just use a small screwdriver or your nail and put that thing back in place. So this ASIC successfully removed. If you put it back in again, there is a pin one indication on the ASIC socket. And this little dimple on the ASIC is pin one. A lot of people try to use a small jeweler screwdriver and pry that thing out and they end up cracking that ASIC socket like they'll get something like this and try to pry it up out of there. And I've seen people be successful, but it's just not worth it when you can get this ASIC specially designed tool to pull them out effortlessly. Because if you crack the corners of the socket, you won't make good contact in the corners and you're going to have to desolder this 84 pin socket which nobody really wants to do.